Hey everyone, welcome to the Trendline Invest channel. In this video, we're going to look at three fundamentally good stocks plus one 13 year breakout from the reality space. It's going to be a good video, especially a lot of learnings around how do you spot and trade breakout stocks or how do you trade stocks which are about to break out from a long consolidation. So let's get started as always, first with the Nifty Outlook and then I'm going to talk about the four stocks today. Okay, so first Nifty Outlook for this week. Nifty had a very strong bullish closing. Uh, I mean, it was natural for the stock uh, for Nifty to give a bullish closing following last week bull candle that we had, uh, the bullish candle we had last week. So continuous two weeks of strength in the markets. So I think there might be some days of consolidation, at least a couple of days of consolidation before we eventually break out and head higher. So my bias is still bullish because on the weekly charts, we are still in uptrend and this uptrend might continue for some more time and um, probably for some more weeks as well. Okay, for now, um, as of now, if Nix has reversed from a major support zone. So until we don't break out above 17,800, I still might be a little cautious because there's other chance that Nifty can come back again down and then we might head higher. So there are multiple possibilities, but given the strong two strong candles we had, any dips might be bought into before we break out from here. Now on the monthly charts, we had a doji last week, a doji was a sign of indecision or a sign of pause of the trend, but we have still not cl closed above the previous month's high, which is 17,800 levels. So it's very important because the last three, four months, we have not crossed the previous month's high. So if this month, if we were crossed to, if we were to cross the previous month high, then definitely the trend changes and turns bullish. Okay, so that's my nifty outlook. Moving on to the daily charts, I just wanna show you that resistance zone over there. So we have this gap here, and then Nifty kind of got rejected from the gap. And again, now we are going heading towards that zone. So 17,800, again, as I said, is going to be a very important resistance zone. If we break that zone, then we are entering a uptrend again on the daily charts. But remember on the weekly, we are still already in uptrend. Okay, so CCA also is turning to be bullish, but it has to cross 100 for it to be really bullish. Until then, it's a wait and watch mode. Do not go really full, do not deploy all your money. If it stocks do well, then deploy more and ride the trend. So now let's look at the stocks for this week, starting with Swaraj Engines Limited. I know this is a very, very good company, fundamentally excellent company, and the stock has not done much. So I think it's time for us to pick this as one of the core stocks for a portfolio. So it's a very small, small company, just around 2000 crores market cap. But look at those ROC and RE numbers. They are very good numbers, right? And the P is just 16. So usually when I have a, when I look at a stock and it has a P, ROC of 49, ROE of 37, I think at least the stock should be trading at least 25 to 30 PE. I think such companies do deserve such good valuations. But what has happened is the stock has been in a very strong consolidation mode since the 2017. Now if you see, we've had this strong, um, P has continuously dropped because the price has been dropping, but also, the EPS or the earnings per share for this company has been trending up. So while the earnings per share has been trending up, the stock has not been doing much because of which the PE is trading even below the median PE of 16.5. The median PE for this stock has been 16.5 and currently is trading at 16.3. So overall, I think the stock is probably undervalued now and I think the stock might head higher going forward. Now taking a look at the fundamentals or the annual numbers PNL for this company since 2011, the company has been posting higher sales almost every year, right? We are right now at 1,300 crores trading 12 months. And also the operating profits has hit an all-time high of 170 crores. Now, if you look at this operating profits, it has almost been increasing every year, but the operating margins have slightly dipped, probably because of multiple reasons. If you do let know, let me know in the comments, but also the PAT has hit an all-time high. So overall, I do not see any reason why this company is not performing but it's probably because of the weak market that we're having. And I think it's time for the stock probably to perform, right? So having said that, let's take a look at the fundamental technicals now. Now this stock has been in a very, very long-term uptrend, a beautiful long-term trend. And since the last six years, the stock has been consolidating, right? We had a strong correction towards this point. And now since we had two more touch points, then I drew this channel. And now this channel has four touch points and this side we have two touch points. So that makes this a very, very good channel for me. And also here, if you see, we've had some middle um, price took support on the middle of the channel. Here also price took support on the middle of the channel. And then here also slide three months, it took support. So overall, this channel is a very good channel. 
and this major resistance over here is very very important if we break out above the six year major resistance then we're going to see again a long term trend will resume the stock might price might head higher from here so again please note the price has not made a new high since june 2017 and the last six months there has been a very very tight consolidation on the monthly charts and i think after the last month doji this month we are trying to form a good green candle i think if we kind of sustain this month then probably next month is when we might break out and head higher now moving on to the weekly charts you can now see clearly why i am going to recommend this stock now the weekly charts also we have this beautiful uptrend going on this channel again one two three touch points again we had three touch points this side so for me that's even a much significant channel on the weekly charts uh, in the short term trend from here and i think we might now head back towards the upper end of channel now remember this is that six year resistance i was talking about also cci is kind of turning bullish and also relative strength is good as well the stock has been not has been performing really well in spite of the markets going down the stock has just been going sideways so the relative strength has been actually very well very good for the stock so having said all this you can buy the stock at current market price which is 1620 levels the stop loss is just going to be 7.4% this is the smallest stop loss that we have for today and we're going to look for targets of 3000 which is 11 and a half times the risk that we're taking in the stock so that's a very good stock for your portfolio to look at do let me know in the comments what do you think about this analysis of mine both the technicals and fundamentals and don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well so let's move on to the other three stocks for today so the second stock today is cochin shipyard now the shipping industry actually has been doing really well of late um, and this company also is a very good fundamentally a very good company right roc again 18 roc e 14 pe is just 11 it's a mid cap company around 6400 crores almost a billion dollars in valuation and the company has been also posting good numbers since the last 10 years or so the operating margins also have been very good uh, march 2021 was very high 26% but again i think the 20% mark is where historically the company has been posting so overall this company has been doing very well in my opinion and i think the company recently uh, broke out from a five year trend line resistance over here we had a strong move up and i think this is just a buy on dips for me uh, look at those wicks over here on the monthly charts now remember when we see wicks on the monthly charts or these long shadows on the monthly charts so that shows that every dip every month the stock goes down and then it comes back again up it goes down comes back again up now these are not really strong candles for me this candle and this candle are not really um, bearish for me these two candles may be but these two candles are not bearish and i think this buy on dip story might work here and we might get some good move going forward also see the volumes here volumes have been very good as well okay so fire trend line resistance breakout the volumes have been excellent and i think we might again see a move up zooming on to the weekly charts now this is a breakout retest zone uh, the stock kind of came and retested now there's a chance that the price can come back again and test this zone so kind of be a little careful before you go full on um, but if we kind of break this zone over here that area over there then we can see a good trend up going up uh, so you can buy the stock at current market price is 487 keep a stop loss of 410 which is 15.8% now the stop loss is deep so you might want to wait for a consolidation if you think the stop loss is deep also you can find your stop losses on hourly charts or other time frames as well it's completely up to you we're going for targets of 700 which is the previous highs uh, which is 44% from the current levels and also which brings us to a risk reward or reward risk of 2.7 times the risk that we're taking so that's the second stock the third stock for today is a very good company from the tractor space which is vst tillers tractors now again an excellent company from a fundamental perspective but the stock has not been performing very well now these now today the trend or the four stocks i'm covering today is basically stocks which are not doing well uh, especially the first stock and third stock today so again a uh, good roc good roe very good numbers from a fundamental perspective pe is just 28 not very overvalued uh, again a very small cap company 2000 crores look at those numbers we've almost doubled our sales in the last uh, 10 years operating profit margins have not been great of late uh, but i think it's again rising uh, we kind of made a dip in march 2020 but i think again we're rising uh, the pat is again coming back to all time high levels operating uh, sorry the gross profit is coming back to all time high levels also here the pat also is kind of doing good right now moving on to the technicals the stock has not been doing much now if this were a weak stock the stock should have corrected but given the sell off we have not seen the stock correcting much which means that this stock actually has very strong relative strength and if you see here the relative strength actually has crossed above the 52 week moving average of the relative strength which is a very very bullish sign for me also here cci is kind of entering a bullish territory it's a 98.85 
And I think if we kind of make a closing above that levels of 24, uh, 50 levels, then definitely a long-term trend again is resuming up and we can see some good move going forward. So overall, you can buy the stock at current market price, keep a stop loss of 3.5% or 2100 and we'll look for targets of 45%, which is 3,500 levels from the current levels. It can go even much higher, try to ride the trends because these are fundamentally very good stocks and they might do well going forward. Okay, so that's the third stock. The final first stock for today is Asian Housing. It's not a fundamentally great company, but I think fundamentally something is changing because of which technicals are looking good and we look at both parameters. Uh, we look at the technicals uh, for this company. So fundamentally, it hasn't made much money. It is a kind of a loss-making company, very volatile profits, very volatile sales uh, being a real estate company. So kind of expected. But here, if you see the monthly charts, we kind of had a 13-year breakout somewhere in July 2021. And since then, the stock has been going sideways. It corrected a bit and then now we are forming a higher high. This month or this week, it's trying to break the previous high which we had. And because of the weak market, the kind of stock consolidated. But now we are trying to attempt to break, uh, break this level and kind of making a higher high. Volumes again are rising last two months and the stock is looking very good. Now, if you kind of break this level, the next level that we're going to see is probably might head towards these levels of 330 levels. And that's what I'm expecting. So zooming on to the weekly charts for today, um, again, a beautiful channel here one two three touch points again two touch points over here now remember channels are very very important because these are very important zones and if we have two or more touch points then that channel is definitely a very good looking channel and that's something that you can rely on so you can enter the stock at current market price is 178 keep a stop loss of around 160 which is here uh, now if you want to be a little conservative you can also keep the stop loss over here right now i'm being a little aggressive because stop loss otherwise is too deep uh, so uh, if you keep here, I think stop loss is around 25%. So you can keep a stop around 160 or around this zone, depending on your risk taking appetite. Uh, and you're looking for targets of 250, which is 40% from here, right? Now, these are the four stocks. Uh, I'm sure you loved my analysis or do let me know in the comments as to what I can improve or if you want me to change my methodology so that it's more helpful, do let me know in the comments as well. Otherwise, I'm going to leave you here. Take care, stay safe, trade safe. Until I see you in another video. Bye-bye.